Happy Halloween, boys and ghouls. Oh, that's cringe. This is the October update for Fantasy Waifu Collector. This has been a rather big update because the last update in Aug was back in August, so I've had two months to work on this. I'm going to try and burn through this pretty quick. I'm on a test account, and I've given myself way too much stuff and an overpowered trash chain, so I can show you everything. Go to here. Let's go to here. All right. Auto equip. There we go. Auto equip logic has changed, so it's easier to understand. Uh, you can manually set equipment. So this one is like critical, even though I'm using a green nature skill. So the auto equip will take that into consideration, and it won't just replace it. Otherwise, it's going to try and find equipment that matches the uh, nature, the skill nature of your character slot has none or no skill it's just gonna it's just gonna look for anything and while i'm here i'm gonna show you the shop so i've added a shop button so i can go directly to the shop and buy stuff it says better stats i'm gonna buy it awesome go back then this little shop icon cool I'm going to buy uh Something else. Um, also, I'm here. So, yeah, I've added skill. You can sort by skill. This one. Usually the more expensive stuff has better better stats. Awesome. So, I bought those two. Auto equip. Bam. Magic. So, these lightning daggers, even though she's green, going to shop. So, it's saying, hey, there's some better lightning daggers here. So I'm going to buy, let's buy some ones with lower stats to show this off. And then I'm going to buy this green equipment that has higher stats. Yeah, watch this not work. Bugs always appear when uh, I record these. Boom! So I did auto-equip, and it's it stuck with the, the lightning one, even though I have better a better green one. You know what, I'm going to equip it. So you can just manually equip it. Awesome, right? Nice. Also fixed startup issues with, uh, if there's more than one star on a character and you use that character to start someone else up, then it's going to properly move everything over. Also fixed a lot of file corruption issues, which obviously can't show. There was also a problem with expired quests not clearing. They now clear properly. And also uh, fixed uh, character corruption. So if, a, if one of these characters got corrupted, if you log out and back in, um, it's going to download from the server and uh, fix the character, which is kind of nice. And that's it for bug fixes. Updated all the skin art assets. Added a syringe and the mask, which uh, you can see here. Which is awesome. Added a particle engine. Yay! Hopefully it's not too obnoxious. If it is, deal with it. So with the bond, I've added a bond filter. You can now sort. And the bond loss is more penalizing if you fail a quest. So what I'm going to do here. I'm going to let's do let's do this one. This is obnoxious. So I'm using a underpowered team. That's going to lose pretty quick here. And this is a uh, rank 7 quest. This is how chaotic and crazy it is. And even better. So yeah, we have a new banner system. Post, post quest banner. Which looks a lot better. Gives you some stats. And I failed that one. So, these characters have failed. And... So she changed from uh, neutral to uncomfortable, and the heart is starting to shake. When the heart shakes like this, it means, um, yeah, that's uh, you're heading towards the negative. All right, speaking of quests, I changed it so that uh, every time you refresh, you're guaranteed to have the first five quests be key quests. So this will make progression a lot smoother and better instead of just grinding uh, these quests every day hoping you get a key quest um, because previously uh, the higher rank you got the less of a chance a key quest would be here 
Which sucked. It really slowed down the game. So, I talked about art assets. Um, my goal is to replace all of the placeholder art assets. Um, these backgrounds will be soon. And here are the icons. I have a whole new icon system, which is easier for me <laughs> to work with. And, of course, graphics. Yeah, graphics. I, I don't have the buildings yet. Deal with it. So, yeah, all the ore... Uh, I mean, yeah, I know I drew it, but I think it looks better. You can differentiate the ore easier and see what kind is which easier. And with the equipment, um, you can now see the uh, previews in the icon <clears throat> and in the frame itself. And uh, here's some sleeves, some sleeves, awesome. Also with the equipment, uh, the background and the borders match their tier. So these are uh, tier 7, so they're white. And then, uh, so they match, they match what rank you are. So at the very bottom, you start off uh, black, then you go to gray, green, blue, purple, yellow, red, and white. So, as you can see here, I have... Level 0, this is black, and then level 1 is gray. And with the magic cats, I don't think I have any magic cats to show. I'll use her. So the magic cat use icons that are also used in the adoption game, and they match the skin of uh, whatever is selected, or psh, match the skin of whatever is generated for the cat. And what we can do, we can skip down to this one. Let's do Trash Chan Wins. So, an adoption quest. Also, if you notice, there's text descriptions about the quest itself and also uh, squad recommendations. So, for taming cats, you need someone with a high attack skill. It's basically a DPS check. And I actually haven't tested this with um, an overpowered trash chan, so yeah, I'm just asking for bugs to happen. So you also see that this has increased by a lot, um, and yeah, before the game actually even starts, uh, it went ahead and cleared some, it gave me a combo, it moved a bunch of cats here, and eight were tamed immediately. So what you can do is you can match uh, multiple cats to build some big combos here. I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can. Oop, I wasn't fast enough, but I was able to chain together and I call it like uh, quick matching. So uh, whenever you make a match, you have like a second um, to try and make more matches. And uh, any match will come over here and start attacking your character. And your character will try and clear whatever's honor, and so just that quick, I'm up to I went from eight to forty one. That's pretty fast, right? So if you give me a second here, I'm gonna try and see if I can match ten of the same uh, type of cat. Oh, now I can do this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Get up there. Ah, no. All right, get over there. Okay, boom. Okay. So I matched more than 10 of the same. It cleared all the black cats, which sent a bunch over, got me up to, man, it's still going. It basically doubled how many cats I tamed. So that's why, man, it's still going, awesome. Uh, that's why I increased the cap, because, I mean, I only made a couple matches, and at rank 7, you would only need 70. So this would be cleared in two clicks, basically. So I still need some music and sound effects for this game. If you know anybody that can do that stuff, that would be fantastic, because I'm not good at that kind of stuff. As I do this, actually, you know what? I can advertise the Discord. So I have the Discord uh, linked down in the bottom, and if you join it, you can be involved in the development of this game. You can also see uh, 
you can watch the development. I post a lot more on the Discord. Of I post like little in progress clips. The Discord also has a link of where you can download the game. Um, I may put the download link in uh, in the description of this video. With this update, I wiped everything so that everyone's starting brand new, new account, new characters. Let's play Cat Taming Simulator. Okay, all right, there we go, nice. Just like that, it was that easy. So yeah, I need to, <laughs> if I was a bit more diligent, I would have had these cleared out. So yes, we have a quest success with new icons as well. And if you hover over them, it's going to show you the icons. I need to replace this one. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, so now, and it also, so for the equipment, it shows the preview and it also shows the nature now. If it has a nature. Let's go over to this library. So the library, I have, I replaced the nature icons with the skill books. And everyone starts off with this eerie black book that is empty. Hmm, what could that allude to? But yeah, we got the uh, nature books. I click on one to view details about the skill. Uh, then you can also retrain. Let's do a... I don't actually have a book. So yeah, these icons were replaced as well. Nice. Next we do the invisible banner. So this is a, this banner only appears in October. And this is a Halloween banner um, because the character is invisible. Ooh. This is why I hacked in a bunch of crystals. So let's see if we get this character. Oh, we got her on the first hand pull. Bro, of course I always get good luck on the, the test and demo accounts, not where it counts, right? Ta-da! Big particle effects, ultra rare. You can't see her, which is hilarious. She's gonna give us... <laughs> she has a little bit of attitude, it looks like. Cool. The fun thing about the invisible character... And don't tell me you haven't done this. If you unequip everything, look, she's completely invisible. And if we auto-equip, I'll just have a mask. So it's an invisible character with just a mask. You know what? Let's get some clothes on her. Sure. This blouse. Sure. And some pants. Some jeans. Blouse and jeans. Standard generic equipment. Awesome. She needs a weapon, too. Let's give her some daggers. Because, you know what? Invisible character with daggers. That sounds terrifying. In the town, I lowered the prices of the salon, arena, and stadium, so you can actually get them earlier. And now when you upgrade, you also get a message of what actually gets unlocked. Cool. Let's do the salon first. So I'm going to select one to customize. I'm just going to pick like anyone. So this is a fully upgraded salon. You have your character and uh, she's going to unequip any headgear and weapons and accessories so that you can change like the hairstyle, the front hairstyle, the back hairstyle. Let's go with, let's go with this one and then you can also change the hair color. These are the, the built-in hair colors that are based off the rolls and then eye color, man she has her eyes closed. Let's go and apply these changes. Let's change, let's go to you. So yeah, I can change the eye color as well. And again, you can get some black eyes, which are only available through the salon because they're special. You can change the mouth. This is a little bit hard to see, but uh, there's even one with like lipstick. You can change the ear. So the horns <laughs> are actually considered ears. Change to like an elf type, cat type generic human, and horns, of course. Then you can also change skin color, which, <laughs> I don't know, this is, uh, this feels weird to have in the game, but yeah, sure, okay, let's have skin color. And you can also change the underwear, which I'm not going to demo, let's just take my word for it. You have to be, uh, rank 7 to unlock the underwear. And yes, there's always underwear, you can't just take it off, because that's, come on, come on, dude. To arena real quick so arena with this update it it's partially in there um 
I'm going to use my little default team. I'm going to challenge uh, Strawberry Tabby, who is another tester. So this is uh, this is in development. My slow characters are going to run in very slow. Her slow characters are going to run in very slow. There's reflections on the floor because this is going to be based off of a little uh, basketball court. I'm calling it cat ball because it's going to be a little bit different. And yeah, I can walk around. This is the first game type where you can actually directly move your character. Move up and down. And there's going to be other stuff too. And then a score and whatnot. So if you exit early, it's going to be marked as a loss. That's okay. Immediate refresh. I lost. The, score, the lowest the score can get is zero. This gave Strawberry Tabby three points for her victory. Added into here a skill filter. So you can sort, and you can actually see the skills. This is going to make it a lot easier to find who you need, especially for team building. Then we got some uh, back in the quest. I've reduced the price of the quest costs by a lot, and also the refresh got cut in half. In the character screen, if we click on her, we have a previous and a next. So you can cycle through, and this also works with filters. So if we have we have two characters here, go and click on you, go previous, go previous again. So it's only going to show the two. We'll clear all the filters. Going to cycle through everybody. Yay! Quick little tool tip: you can mark and unmark your favorites. So if it's marked as a favorite, then if the character is marked as a favorite, then they, if you try and start up using them, it's not going to let you. It's going to give you a message. If you made it this far, good on you. <laughs> so we have uh, a world boss, and this is going to pull in uh, your score and your rank immediately. Then we have the actual nature towers. So the, uh, on Sunday, all the towers are available. Let's use tree. So you can only use what you got. I got a cleanse and a regenerate. This is all I have. Squad saved. So we're going to start this event for the tree. And this runs just like the hunting quest. It's all automated. And the enemy team is always going to be five. And it's going to match the... Uh, their levels and stats are going to match that of the floor. So as this runs... Uh, I'm not I'm not touching anything. So a team's going to run in. You're hopefully going to win. If you win, the banners pop, come in. They're going to show for a split second. Then they're going to go away. It's going to clear the opponent team. The next team's going to come in. You have two minutes. You got two minutes to win. And if you don't win, then... Yeah. So I've completed floor one. I've been to floor two. I took negative two damage, which means I actually healed. That's interesting. So you can just quit at any time. So I'm now rank one with a score of two. Yay. Big stuff. So then with here, I'm going to use my super buff Trash Chan for the world boss. Man, look how fast she's zipped in here. So if you compare... Uh, a rank seven character with a uh, <laughs> with the rank one, their stats are going to be higher, and it's going to show like in all areas of the game. So Trash Chan is just like destroying this boss. Now I'm going to, if you try and leave, total damage won't be counted. So if we let this run, she's just going to get a massive score. And she's just one hitting him and. Difficulty is increasing by one every time every time he gets knocked down. Just like that. Man. So, I built this and uh, pushed it live. And there were some hot fixes I needed to do. Which I was able to do the same day. So when you download, you're going to get everything. Oh, she died. Uh-oh. Or she fainted. Okay, this is as far as uh, Trash Can uh, got by herself. So now there is a score on the leaderboard. Yay. 
this is a good score to aim for anyway all right uh i believe that's it yeah this is fantasy waifu collector uh october november update if you like what you see game is free join the discord etc and hope to see you on this uh leaderboard have fun